In the network models, before the data is ready for transmission over the network channel, it is important to secure and safeguard our data over the network channel for transmission. This task is performed by the presentation layer in the OSI model. Hi guys and welcome to yet another interesting video by Simply Learn. But before we begin, if you love watching tech videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from us. Now without further ado, let's take a look at the agenda for today's session. To begin with, we will look into what is an OSI model. Continuing with what is the presentation layer. Moving forward, we will look into the functions of the presentation layer. And the last topic that is protocols in the presentation layer. Let's take a look at the first setting that is what is an OSI model. The OSI or Open System Interconnection Model is a specifically designed set of protocols that govern communication channels through which network devices share information and data. This task of sharing information is divided among the seven layers of the OSI model which works at the micro level network communication in a network model. Now let's look into the next setting that is what is presentation layer. The presentation layer performs the task of converting data into an uncomplicated form for the application layer. It is also responsible for encrypting and decrypting data which is shared over the network model. It also executes the task of compressing the data transmission over the network channel for the lower models. Now let's move on to the next setting that is functions of the presentation layer. Before we begin with the functions of the presentation layer, let's take a look at the general functioning of the presentation layer. To begin with, the application layer will share the data with the presentation layer, where the presentation layer in the SI model is responsible for handling the translation and conversion of data based on the network protocols and architecture. Some of the protocols applied in the presentation layer are AFP, ICA and LPP. After which this processed data from the presentation layer is transferred over to the session layer. Now let's take a look at the functions of the presentation layer. The first function is data representation. Then we have data compression and the last is network security. Let's take a look at the first function that is data representation. The data storage and the process is handled by the American Code of Information Interchange and binary coded decimal in the presentation layer. It takes data so that the receiver can understand the data effectively and use it efficiently. It is also responsible for encrypting data for data transmission. Now let's move on to the next function that is data compression. The presentation layer also applies multiple compression techniques to minimize the data required to present the information over the network model. The compressed data is much more easier to transmit and is also transmitted at a much faster speed. Then we have network security. The presentation layer is responsible for adding encryption at the sender and the receiver side so that the data is transmitted with proper encryption over the network model. It also encrypts data sent over the network and provides multiple security protocols for maintaining the encryption state for the network model. Now let's take a Quick recap of all the functions of the presentation layer. The presentation layer is responsible for exchanging data among computer devices and applying multiple encoding techniques for safety purposes. It is responsible for dealing with presentation part of the data and integrating multiple data formats for efficient data transmission. The presentation layer is also responsible for formatting translation and delivery of the data shared from the upper layers as well as the lower layers in the OSI model. This layer also manages high level information increasing data transmission efficiency over the network channel. With this 
we have completed all the functions of the presentation layer. Now let's move on to the next setting that is protocols of the presentation layer. The presentation layer is responsible for maintaining the security of the transmitted data and ensuring that the received data is accurate and effective for the receiver end. This is handled by the multiple protocols available for the presentation layer in the network model. Some of which are Apple Filling Protocol AFP. This protocol handles basic network file control and is specifically designed for Mac based platforms. Then we have Lightweight Presentation Protocol LPP. Lightweight Presentation Protocol provides TCP IP products with ISO presentation services in the network model. Then we have Network Data Representation NDR. This type of presentation protocol is used to implement the presentation layer in the OSI model. And the last protocol is Secure Socket Layer SSL. As the name suggests, this protocol is applied to provide security to the data being transmitted over the network channel by encrypting the data link between the web page and the data service. With this, we have covered all the important points regarding the presentation layer in an OSI model. If you have any questions regarding the topic, you can ask them in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.